Hello, and welcome to another painting video. I'm your hostess with the- I'm Mit hi, I'm Mitchell, and I am the- I'm the- I'm the painter. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, false start, start again. Hi, hello, this is Mitchell Davis, and welcome to another painting video. Right now, I'm putting the outline down for this painting, which is similar to the painting in painting something new called gross coca-cola and i decided i wanted to make it again except using warm colors no greens no blues no silvers i definitely use blue just some warmth it's amazing that i edit these and i'm still not in sync so i'm gonna fill some time with a little song until i think of something to say like this in the meantime though i i called that painting gross coca-cola but i do enjoy a coca-cola so don't get it twisted <laughs> here we go so this is some black very black green, uh, a very dark green, I guess, <laughs> black green, um, that I had extra from when I painted Megabyte, and I didn't want to waste it, so I just thought I'd use it as my, I don't know, primer, my sit in place. I, I know that it's going to be black in the future. So there we go. That looks very witchy. Um, now I'm covering up all those little loose edges. Um, not doing a great job because I again I like being able to see process and work and so whenever I look at a painting and I see that there's like a ton of lines it excites me that the person has changed it so much this drives me crazy with my new easel whenever I put a, a brush that's just small enough it rolls for what feels like forever until my fingertips are gonna pop off and then finally it just gives freedom that looks like an egg. I don't like it. Take it away. Um, and so I add some spicy orange to the background just to force myself to really think in terms of warmth. Oh yeah, man, it's been fucking crazy. Who got vaxxed? I got, I got vaxxed. Got some Pfizer running in my blood. So I added some shines in the middle again, uh, just like the other one. Again, going for that real barnyard look. The sketch of the painting when it was finished is going to look like. I did not film me going over this with all that beautiful pink spray paint. I should have filmed it, but it was just too fucking hot. <laughs> I didn't feel like getting my stuff out. Now I'm adding shines in blue. Um, the reason the spray paint looks so messy is because I, I actually went over it with a black spray paint first and graffitied my own artwork. <laughs> <laughs> and then tried to cover it all up with the pink as if this sign's been there so long that you know the owner and his son are just like we'll just keep trying to fix it we don't know what to do so here i am adding the the bold the bold lines to make the two shiny pieces you know more in focus i guess <laughs> gosh i'm really finding my my like painting vibes lately and doing these like what I've been calling shine pieces I'm really enjoying this don't get me wrong if you have an idea that you want to see me paint leave it in the comment section I will try anything right there that star right there is why all of a sudden I started calling it car dealership because I was like that looks like the hood ornament of like a really cheap quote fancy car so here I am adding black to all the shines just to give everything some depth I'm really enjoying the way that it's looking so much like the drawing from my sketchbook because that never happens. <laughs> and so that tells me I'm on the right track. I think I had some white here soon. Oh no, this is where I then I outlined the blue because I realized if I'm gonna outline everything else, I should outline the blue too. Why should I exclude the blue? It's a beautiful blue. Being in the great words of music, I'm blue, if I was green, I would die. So here's the white. I kind of scribble it on you'll see in a second because i noticed it was looking like chalk and i really liked that <laughs> hi i'm mitchell and i like my paintings to kind of look like shit um so yeah <laughs> i don't know how to follow that up so here i am doing more off screen how incredible um going i i go over the white so many times just to give it that like how many times have they repainted this 
I'm getting very close to the end now. See, it's, it's looking similar. That makes me happy. Totally unrelated, but I want to do one of these in auto-tune. Here's the final thing that I did. I decide to go through and paint all of that greenish black. I go in and paint it black with a Posca. And no, this is not sped up footage. This is how quickly I I draw. I make coverage and I do it quick. That's a lie. This is sped up so much. I want to say it's sped up a thousand percent. Yeah, very tedious filling in these areas, especially because the areas had, they're not as solid as they used to be now that there's all these paint layers. So I really had to like guess <laughs> where this black went. <laughs> this video is clearly a lot more snappier. I want to see if it helps if maybe things go a little bit faster. Because I get it, you got to make time for your TikToks and your Instagram and your YouTube and your LinkedIn and your MySpace and your Live Journal and your AOL Mail and your uh, Google Docs. I mean, you've got a lot of things going on. You can't spend 20 minutes watching me paint. <laughs> oh, also, uh, unrelated. Has anybody seen the Cho Show? It's so good. It's on Hulu. I highly recommend it. I should get back to this. But I'm very happy with how this came out, and I can't wait to do more of these kind of paintings, these shine paintings. If you like it, let me know in the comments, or don't, uh, and check out my other painting videos to see a lot more stuff. The car dealership. Logo. <laughs>